In this example, an invasive plant has shown up in a certain county. A grant funding agency will award funds for the county to combat the invasive species only if more than 10% of the trees in the area are impacted. If 10% or less are impacted, then they will not award funds. So the hypotheses that we're given are as follows. The null hypothesis is that pi equals 0.1. In context, that means 10% of trees in the county are impacted by this invasive plant. The alternative is that pi is greater than 0.1, that more than 10% of the trees are impacted by the invasive species. They then go out and they collect a random sample of trees in the county, and the sample statistic is used to find a p-value of 0.008. So first, we're asked to write a sentence to interpret the meaning of the p-value in context. When you're asked to do this, what you're being asked to do is to take the definition of p-value and replace the words in that sentence with the exact values and context of this situation. So let's start with the exact definition of p-value. Here it is. If the null hypothesis is true, then the probability of getting a sample statistic like ours or more extreme is the p-value. That's the definition. That's where you always should start. Now we're going to take all these little words in this sentence and we're going to start replacing them with context and exact values. So for example, if the null hypothesis is true, I'm going to replace that with the actual null hypothesis statement in this problem. The null hypothesis was 10% of trees in the county are impacted. So instead of saying if the null hypothesis is true, we will say if it is true that 10% of the trees in the county are impacted by an invasive species. Next you'll notice that we want to actually put the p-value in for this particular problem because we actually know the p-value. This last little statement, then the probability of getting a sample statistic like ours or more extreme is the p-value, will re be replaced with the following. Then the probability of getting a sample statistic like ours or more extreme is 0.8%. I get 0.8% because the p-value was 0 0.008. As a percentage, that's 0.8%. So it's a less than 1% chance of seeing a statistic like this or more extreme if it's true that 10% of the trees in the county have this invasive species. Next, we're asked to make a conclusion about which hypothesis we should support. So to write a conclusion, you should either be supporting and saying that it's plausible that 10% of the trees in the county are impacted, meaning the null hypothesis is plausible, or you should be supporting the alternative hypothesis by supporting the idea that more than 10% of the trees in the county are impacted. To make that decision, to make that conclusion, you need to compare your p-value to your significance level alpha. If your p-value is smaller than alpha, then you reject the null and you support the alternative. If your p-value is bigger than alpha, then you say the null is plausible. So for us, the p-value is 0 0.008, the significance level is 0 0.01. So the p-value is smaller than our significance level. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and we have statistically significant evidence to support the alternative hypothesis. So in context, we are saying we support this alternative, that pi is greater than 0.1. We support the idea that more than 10% of the trees in the county are impacted by the invasive species. To say that, we say, our observed statistic gives statistically significant evidence that more than 10% of trees in the county are impacted by the invasive species.